Hey, what's going on, guys? It is the morning of October 19th. It is the first day of muzzleloader here in Kentucky. It's a two-day muzzleloader season. So uh, I'm going to try to get out both days here. Um, I'm set up here in a creek bottoms. It's going to be low 70s today, so it's going to be warm. And right now it's cold. So I'm hoping to intercept some deer going from, from feed to their beds. And, um, you know, maybe we'll run into one. So stick around and uh, stay tuned. So it's about 9 o'clock. I just had a doe come in behind me. And I didn't see her before. I kind of looked back there. She already saw me. And she was doing the stomp thing. So I couldn't really couldn't really get the camera on her. But she took off snorting. I think she just spotted me moving a little bit. Um, when I wasn't aware she was back there. But now we got a, a turkey calling over here. But I'm sitting here thinking. It's about high 30s. I've got boots on, I've got socks, feet are a little bit cold, not too bad, but how do these tiny little birds, you know, with their legs and that, how do they not get cold or frostbitten? It's one of the great mysteries in life, really. I don't think it'll ever be solved, but that's the kind of stuff you think of out here. So we'll sit here a little bit longer and uh, see, see if we can't find anything else. So it's 10 o'clock, and uh, we saw the second deer of the day. It was a little spike, but uh, probably wrap it up here in a little while. I don't anticipate seeing something else, so we'll catch you on the uh, evening hunt. So this evening, I'm in a spot where I killed my buck last year. This afternoon, when I was driving down the road, there was a big buck by one of those blinds we just set out, the redneck blind. So my dad's hunting that, I'm hunting here, and uh, hopefully one of us will get one. So stick with us. She was a big doe, really big doe. I thought about shooting her, but uh, kind of on the uh, on the range of a muzzleloader, about 100, 120. 
25 yards. I think I could have got her, but it's still early. It's hot out. And uh, I kind of want to see if a buck comes in. I don't really want to ruin this spot. You know, come the rut, that doe might draw in, you know, a good, a good buck. So I'm a little bit hesitant to shoot a doe, but I may change my mind later. So it's October 20th. It's the second day of muzzleloader season. It's the morning. It's about 20 degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday morning. So I'm not real sure we're going to see a whole lot of movement. But uh, I'm hunting here in this redneck blind, as you can see, the one we put together in a previous video. And it's overlooking some of the pear trees that I planted. Now it's going to be a few years before those pears produce. So. I'm not sure there's a major draw at this point, but um, leaving the farm yesterday, we saw a nice buck just probably 75 yards over. So I'm hoping, and that was at about 11 a.m., so I'm hoping that deer will show up today. And then last night when I was leaving that stand, I saw a nice buck out of that. Um, and, I, you know, I don't know if it was a shooter or not. I just saw that it was wide. It was getting dark, or it was dark. Fortunately, didn't see me, so um, my dad is over hunting that stand over there that I hunted last night, and hopefully one of us will have luck, so, um, you know, we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so it's the last day of muzzleloader, this short muzzleloader season, October 20th. It's the last hunt. I'm uh, set up in this woods here. It's a spot where I saw that buck last night, right as it was getting dark. I'm, 
I'm hoping. I'm hoping he comes through here, but I don't know. Actually, I, I think he might be bedded about 75 yards away, but I'm not real sure. I'm not positive. If not, he's coming from the neighbor's farm over here. So, yeah, we'll see. It's kind of a risky setup. We'll see how it goes, though. During this final hunt of the early muzzleloader season weekend, I saw a couple does and fawns. Couldn't get them on camera because they were behind some, some trees, so I apologize for that. To give you some quick updates, we replanted the food plots and got a good stand of winter wheat coming in now. And I'd also like to show you some of the bucks that I have on camera. Some of these are up and comers and some of them look like nice deer, so hopefully we'll get a chance to run into a, a nice one during the upcoming hunts with rifle coming up and muzzleloader and of course bow and crossbow. If you'd like to see some more of this footage content, then drop a comment below and hit that like button, of course. Or if you don't too, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear what you would like to see. So if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much.